All right, everyone, so I got the wind chime up here in the backyard. This is normally where I would put the Oreo feeder, um, but right now this is where the wind chime is gonna go, unless uh, I put it somewhere else. We had talked about the back of the house, um, but yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> but right now, uh, it's in the middle, almost in the middle of the backyard, so when it's windy, it's gonna hit this wind chime pretty good. So, and then we can hear it really well, but I just wanted to show you where I have it hanging up right here and I'll move it so you can hear what it sounds like. Although there is a little breeze coming through, I don't think it's going to be strong enough. But anyway that uh little clear ball is going to light up at night you have the solar panel on there right now and the sun's gonna charge that up so yeah i can't wait to uh look out the back window of the kitchen and and see this here and hopefully hear it hey everyone so i am going to make a banana cake now so first off welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new day it is uh wednesday uh almost supper time and i'm making a banana cake right now so i am going to use my food processor to chop up the bananas i've got three fairly good sized bananas in there um, for this recipe it calls for four but i have three that are ready to be used and the other ones are still a little on the green side so i don't want to use them yet all right so i've never used a processor while chopping up the banana so let's uh Let's see how it works. All right, so the bananas are all chopped up. All right, everyone, so I have went ahead and pre-measured out all the ingredients, so this can go by a little quicker, so I'm not having to do it all the while. So I'm gonna go over the ingredients. I'm gonna try to remember to put it in the description below if you'd like to try to make this cake. It is a banana cake, not banana bread, not banana muffins, so. All right, so right here we got three cups of flour, and then I'll bring on the rest of the ingredients. All right, so here are the ingredients. Let me see. I forgot to slide the oil in there. Okay, so here are the rest of the ingredients for the cake. I have the three... Uh, blended up bananas. I have three quarter cups of vegetable oil, two cups of sugar, three beaten eggs. I have a teaspoon of baking soda, a half a teaspoon of salt, one and a half teaspoons of vanilla, and a teaspoon of cinnamon. So that is all we're using. And then later on I'm going to make a cream cheese frosting. So right now I got the oven uh, preheated to 350. And this is going to bake for about 20 to 28 minutes. I'll check it at the 20 minute point. And I got this recipe from uh, Paula Dean's page. So, and she got it from a book. So, <laughs> all right, so let's get started on this. All right, so first we're going to start off with our dry ingredients. So I'm going to mix in the flour, the sugar, the baking soda, the cinnamon, and the salt. So pretty much all the dry ingredients. So I got the three cups of flour here. There's the baking soda, there's the salt, and there's the cinnamon. And I'm just going to mix these together. Actually, I'm going to get the whisk. Alright, so we're just going to whisk, <laughs> not wix, whisk this together. And I'm going to be using the, the large, uh, normal size cake pan, cake dish. All right, so that's all together. Now we're going to add the eggs and the oil. It's three beaten eggs. And then we're going to add the oil in there. And we're going to just stir this in until all the dry ingredients are moist. 
So we're not going to beat it with a hand mixer or anything. I've got uh, two chicken breasts cooking on the stove with uh, pato sauce. That's going to be for our chicken tostadas tonight. I did just boil up some water for some iced tea. Okay, so I went ahead and stirred in the eggs and the oil, and it looks much like a cookie dough. Um, I did cut the video off while I was doing it, but I did end up having to use my hand a little bit to get everything moist. Um, so yeah, just so you know that. All right, so at this point, we're going to put the bananas and the vanilla in there. Oh, you know what? That's why, damn it, I forgot to put the sugar in there. Shoot. I guess I'm going to just throw it in there all at once then. I hate when I'm baking something and I forget it to throw the ingredient in at the particular step. I hate when I do that. But I'm going to leave it on the video so you know <laughs> I made a mistake. And maybe I'm missing the moisture of that fourth banana. I don't know. But looks to be coming out okay. I did put the bird cam out today. Don't know if uh, a lot of birds came. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm thinking about buying a, a t-shirt that and it says uh, distracted by birds <laughs> and then there's some backyard birds on it it's <laughs> I think it it's perfect for me because just as I left the camera right now I heard a bird out in the feeder <laughs> I wanted to go see what it was but I am always distracted by birds <laughs> when we go fishing and I see birds I will stop to take pictures, but I'll continue to fish. And Glenn will always say, are we here to fish or take pictures of birds? I always tell him I'm multitasking, so I can do both. So, yeah, I'm thinking about getting that shirt. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to get our cake pan, and we'll pour this in there. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put the batter in now. I did oil the pan, the cake dish. So I took I took out the food processor to chop up the bananas, but you know why I never take that thing out? Because it's in, it's buried in the same place that electric griddle was. And so I guess I better leave the food processor out or clean that place. <laughs> so so after I get this uh, put in the oven, I'm going to go ahead and go outside and collect the bird cam as the time has run out on the SD card. And then uh, tonight I'll go through some of the footage on this one. And then uh, I have another SD card to go through that I never went through. So, so we'll have some bird cam footage for you. Kind of thick. Ooh, there's a whole banana right there. Whole piece, big piece. I've never made a banana cake. I always make muffins or a banana loaf, but never a cake. Boy, this week has been a week of making stuff for the first time. It was a pot roast, a lasagna, now a banana cake. <laughs> I 
All right, so let me go get this in the oven, get my bird feeder or my bird cam, and then we'll be back. All right, everyone, so it is time to eat supper, and we're going to have those chicken tostadas. Here is the chicken. Uh, it's quite red. <laughs> uh, so that's a total of two chicken breasts and one can of pato sauce. No, no water, no... I just did season the chicken when I put them in with salt and pepper, um, but the pato sauce will carry some flavor as well. So, so yeah, there's our chicken, and there's the refried beans. All right, so here is Glenn's plate. Uh, there's the beans. There's the chicken. Gonna throw some lettuce and tomato on here. I'm so hungry. Throw some tomatoes on there. Oops. And then throw some sour cream on it. And some shredded cheese. This is the four cheese Mexican. Glenn doesn't want a lot of cheese. And then he's also going to put his Taco Bell hot sauce on there. All right, everyone. So here are my tostadas. Uh, the only difference is I'm not using the hot sauce, but I am using avocado on top there. So I'm going to sit down and enjoy this and stay tuned uh, when I make the frosting for the banana cake. All right, everyone. So it is time to make the cream cheese frosting. So I have had uh, two sticks of butter and an eight ounce pack of cream cheese sitting out pretty much all day to soften. So I've got one eight ounce pack of cream cheese here. And then I've also got two sticks of butter, which is one cup. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use the hand mixer and soften this up. Just mix it up until it's creamy. All right, so that's all creamy, and now I'm going to use some uh, vanilla, and I'm going to eat. It calls for one tablespoon. I'm going to put two. Paula Dean put two in, so I'm going to put two. Like she said, I think it's impossible to have too much vanilla. <laughs> so, but it's up to you. If you only want to use one, that's fine. It's not going to hurt it either way. It'll just make it sweeter. All right, looks, we're going to mix that in. Okay, so the last thing we're going to put in there is two cups of powdered sugar. You don't want to put it all in at once. You're going to do it gradually. Uh, otherwise, it's just going to explode on you <laughs> like it did to me. Not this time, obviously, but another time it did it. Uh, explode all over the place on me all right i'm just going to do a little bit at a time and i'm going to go ahead and uh go through the process uh putting a little bit in a time mixing it and then do it until i'm I've used up all the powdered sugar, so I'm not going to record that um, just because it could be a long process. Okay, so I've got all the powdered sugar blended in there, mixed in there. I'm just going to take my spatula and just uh, scrape all the sides, get all the powdered sugar. Now everything is dusty with powdered sugar. <laughs> Want to make sure you scrape up the bottom, get all that powdered sugar. And get
give it a little taste here. That's pretty good. Yeah, real creamy. All right, so the frosting is done. Uh, I'm going to check with Glenn. He might want a cup of coffee to go with his banana cake. So I will be back when we are done plating. I'll give it a little taste test too as well. All right, everyone. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut this uh, banana cake now. You can see um, the top layer has kind of got that like hard crust like a banana bread would. Um, so... Hopefully it turned out good. If it didn't, well, oh well, I'll still leave it on the video. <laughs> Something I messed up. <laughs> um, making coffee right now for Glenn. Uh, just got done making the frosting. Um, I'm not going to frost the entire cake at once because it is a cream cheese frosting. It would have to go in the refrigerator. And I don't have room for this big cake in the refrigerator. So I'll just put it in a container and just refrigerate the frosting by itself and take it out as we need it. And I did not put any uh, uh, walnuts or any nuts in here. Uh, that was just our choice. You can if you want. But uh, there it is. I'm going to go ahead and frost that. It smells good. Glenn doesn't want it on real thick, so I'll just throw it on mine. <laughs> I may try to put, I'm not, I'm not sure if I want to try like some pecans or walnuts on mine, on top of the frosting. I'm not sure. Yeah, this frosting is actually real, it's got a real creamy texture. Has a good taste. As you can see, I'm not very good at putting frosting on. It almost has a texture of a banana bread, so I don't know if it's going to taste much different. But let me go ahead and uh, take a bite, and we'll see. actually pretty good yeah it's got a it's thick like the the cake itself is not like fluffy or anything but yeah it actually has pretty good taste to it I'm happy with the way it came out The frosting actually uh, gives it a nice touch. So yeah, pretty happy with it. So we're going to go ahead and enjoy our dessert now. And I'm going to wrap up the video right here. Um, following the video would be uh, footage from the bird cam. So stay tuned for that if you want to watch the bird cam video. But other than that, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. I appreciate all of your support. And with that, remember to live life, be good to yourself, and be good to others. Until next time.